हेलो आर यू एबल टू हियर मी वरुण हेलो या आई कैन हियर यू पंकज ओके थैंक यू जस्ट आई एम शेयरिंग माय स्क्रीन okay fine so uh, in last class uh, we have seen that uh, how we can open in hana studio sql console there are different perspective and how we can run our abap program over there how we can check the syntax how we can put the breakpoint in hana studio so all this stuff we have seen over there there are many things we are still uh, supposed to do over there okay so these all things we are learning in order to achieve the code push down in order to achieve this code to data paradigm code push down because we are supposed to run maximum code at the hana database layer so the different technique which are there which we are going to use so for code push down we have already discussed let us note it down that for code push down at database layer at database layer we are having different techniques okay so the first one is recommended one is open sql this is very much recommended first priority we are given uh, Uh, we we are given this open sql now sap has provided new open sql new open sql is nothing but the enhanced open sql okay the new open sql it is actually known as new open sql it is having so many functionality that directly we can add in open sql itself and whatever we will add at open sql everything will run at hana database layer so the first recommended technique is open sql the second one the uh, uh, after this the very popular one that is the cds view it's very very popular cds view okay core data services core data services so this is the another technique cds view after that we are having amdp okay abap abap managed data procedure this is this is a kind of a stored procedure which is you know which is having the capacity to run in parallel okay this is a, a stored procedure which is having the capacity to run in parallel so many parallel code can run at the same time with the help of this amdp this amdp is developed mainly you know with the help of sql script we should know about the sql script okay so to implement this amdp we have to create a class at abap layer and we have to use one interface amdp interface in order to implement the amdp procedure that we will see later and the fourth one is adbc abap database connectivity abap database connectivity so this is more or less kind of native sql you have to prepare your native sql and that native sql it will directly pass to you know 
directly pass to uh, your HANA database layer to get execute. So, but this technique is having some different significance also. Like suppose in any organization that HANA database has been installed as a sidecar scenario. In that situation, this ADVC is mostly useful. OK, so we'll see everything in detail. First, let us go to our uh, very recommended technique that is open SQL. We already know about these things. Uh, some some part of this open SQL we already know we have been working. Let's see some different variant which has been uh, uh, very useful. We will see those very fine. So today class we will see. Fine. Going ahead in our last class, we have seen that uh, there are different provider and in uh, with the help of different provider, we can buy different services and uh, then you know accordingly we can use in our business. So we have seen this on promise. Everything we have to take care in infrastructure as a service only. Uh, you know, only we have to take care like uh, uh, application data, runtime, middleware, and operating system. These first five things we have to take care. And then in platform as a service, the first two things, and in software as a service, nothing we have to take care. Everything will be taken care by the third party. Fine. We also seen we uh, in order to understand the cloud services, we have seen uh, the Pija as a service example. Okay. This example we have seen with the help of which as a service here we have seen suppose we have to uh, cook a pizza. Suppose we have to eat a pizza in order to eat a pizza. If we are buying everything bread and whatever the masala and all those things is there. If we buy everything and baking at home, then this is a on premise service and infrastructure as a service like suppose if we buy bread from outside and butter all these things masala and everything by from outside and cook at a home then this is known as infrastructure as a service so infrastructure uh, is representing over here as a bread and butter something like that and when we are taking at our home the you know all other ingredient like uh, and other cooking all these things comes under uh, it, it has been taken care of by us so this is infrastructure as a service now uh, when when like uh, uh, we want to uh, uh, we don't want to give any ingredient we don't uh, use our gas and all these things just simply we give the order and they are just uh, going to provide to us then uh, this is known as the platform as a service just we have to give the order they will deliver to us and just we will eat them fine here the software SaaS. This is software as a service. OK, go to their place and just order the pizza and have it. This is everything is theirs. Just you have to eat it fine. So this is pizza as a service. This is a, a very popular example. That's why I have taken it over here. Now we will start with OpenSQL. OK, now we will start with OpenSQL. OK. So. Let's start with open SQL, new open SQL. No new open SQL here. We will see the first variant already. I think we have seen the first variant. Let's uh, revise them once again. OK, uh, we'll practice our open SQL at SE 38 editor. Uh, 
this is the very much first recommended technique and here jade uh, morning hana and open sql uh, different variant we'll see in this okay. click on this create button so different way of uh, you know open sql instead of fail let us write here variant open sql executable program save it local object let's see one by one so first i will uh, just uh, i will let you know like earlier uh, earlier you remember that suppose if we have to get the data uh, from mara table i tend to score mara table example so we used to do like this okay and just select star from mara into table it underscore mara we used to do like this okay but <clears throat> now you don't have to do all these things directly what you can do that select star from mara into into at the rate of data it underscore you know whatever table you want to give just to give this is known as inline declaration okay so simply if you give this one there will be no any syntax error it's telling that incorrect nesting before the end of the program the control okay into table we have to give over here so just check this syntax this is fine activate it okay it got activated so this is a one variant in open scribble this is one variant so at runtime itself means it is actually known as inline declaration inline declaration okay if you see you can see the data will come over here put the breakpoint run this you can see in it underscore mara all the 201 entries have come over there okay the same thing which you would have done this one the same it is performing over here okay so this is the one variant let me comment this one let's go ahead and this is the old uh, old technique <clears throat> fine okay so let's see the second variant uh, second variant and here like suppose if you have to you know uh, for example let us take some case something like uh, uh, Mara itself we can take Mara itself so select you know uh, something like Matner and then uh, in new new open SQL what you have to do you have to use the you know comma earlier in old open SQL we are not supposed to use the comma but in new open SQL we are supposed to use the comma so select Matner then mtart mbrsh and then you know matkl we can write it so and uh, ntgw let's take the this is for neat weight from mara okay select matner mtart mbrsh matkl ntgw from mara into add the rate of uh, 
into table and at runtime itself we can declare any table over here at underscore here i'm giving uh writing the different column name okay i'm writing the different column name it will come over here you can see this <coughs> automatically and this uh, uh it underscore table will be having five column matner mtart mbrs mtl earlier if you remember we first have to declare the local structure okay local structure then only it will be supported otherwise it will be giving some error kind of unknown variable something like that you will be able to get but nowadays it's a uh, very easy it's very convenient it's very dynamic to use the open sql okay fine so here like you know uh, comma is important you have to give the comma suppose if you want to you know give this material number as you know something like this material uh, material number okay m tart if you want to give like something like uh, material type okay this so if suppose you want to give something like industry sector in industry sector okay and this if you want to give something like material group as a header actually i'm talking about header so you can directly give like this material and group and this is the net weight as net net weight okay let's make it a little beautiful <coughs> readable so that in debugging also we will be able to see everything okay from mara okay click on this pretty printer save this one activate it it got activated now if you run this query okay it has stopped it over here you can see it underscore table is again having five fields but you can see it is coming like material number it is coming like material type it's coming like industry sector material group net weight so whatever you have given like edge over there it's coming like that okay it's coming like that so on the fly you know on the fly you can change the header name on the fly you can change the header name this is one another advantage so here like you know uh this is fine just i'm um, going to copy it and comment it this is the second variant we have seen let's go for the third variant third variant of open sql okay so suppose now the requirement is like uh, <clears throat> let's go to mara first sc 16 in mara uh, in this table uh, we are having one field called net weight okay n t g e w one field is there net weight c n t g e w this is the field okay so just uh, um, remove all the selection okay i want to display only net weight the required field only i want to display okay and the material number m tart and all if we can display okay m tart and all we can display uh, material type this is m bar and we are session material group so i have selected those fields only which i want to display in output run it 
and we can see the net weight is 0 1 something like that it's coming 1 10 all these things is coming okay fine so what actually I want if the weight is less than you know if weight is less than 2 okay if weight is less than 2 or if weight is less than 50 then I want to uh, show the material as underweight I want to you know in our program output I want to give a extra column okay I want to give a extra column and there I want to give uh, you know uh, category weight category and there I want to give like it's a extra weight or you know uh, overweight or underweight overweight or underweight I want to give like there by giving the you know uh, extra column so how we can do this one this is our requirement okay so here you know four one two three five we are just selecting over here okay so what you have to do uh, ntgew as net weight and after that you have to you know write the case st statement it supports the case statement okay case and then you have to write after case you have to write when when uh, nt ntgew is less than 50 then again you have to write then and you just write overweight okay over then overweight okay and again you can write when uh, when and then again you can give similar like you know when or, or directly uh, you can give multiple when a statement okay or directly you can give the else okay else uh, if less than 50 this one else you can write uh, under it okay you can write under it and after this you have to write end uh, edge and this the you know this net weight here ntgw as net weight is coming over here so this you know this you have to give over here and here i want to give as a weight category so this we have to give something like you know uh, weight underscore category let us let us leave like this okay fine so we have given uh, select material uh, material type we have given we have separated it with a comma okay and then uh, uh, material group as material group then this is also fine ntgw case everything is fine let's click on this pretty printer some error is there let us check what is the error case is invalid here due to grammar okay some problem is there ntgew comma is fine okay let me remove this as from here give the comma 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 okay This is when case end edge from uh, here we don't have to give comma okay so when we are using the case statement when we are using the case statement here it's not accepting the edge anyway just uh, click on the printer click on means little bit check the click on this check syntax this is fine now activate it it got activated so here 
I'm just going to show you how it looks like. Okay. At underscore table, we can see that see the weight category is coming over here. Okay. Overweight and underweight. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have written something wrong over here. So if less than 50, it should be underweight actually. And if otherwise it should be, you know, uh, overweight. OK, save it. Activate it. OK. Fine. So if you feel like if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. OK, it, so that our class will be little interactive. Go here, height underscore table, height underscore table. See, now it's coming fine. Okay. So, wherever less than 50 is there, the underweight is coming, and wherever the less than uh, greater than 50 is there, the overweight is coming. So, see how flexible now OpenSQL has become. On the fly itself, in runtime itself, we can add one extra column and we can give least weight, underweight, um, win condition we, get, we can give uh, at runtime. Okay, how beautiful. Suppose if you want to give the output, uh, we can use one class that's a very, you know, uh, popular class, CL demo output. Okay, CL demo, you know, output. This is the, uh, class name a static variable it is having display output display output i think this one and here in this display output we have to uh, use like uh, what exporting parameter let's go to this class slash so ac24 cl demo output Yes, this is the class. Go here directly. We can use this class over here. So on display data, this is there. We can use this one. This class we can use. So <coughs> this code is written over here. OK, fine. So just I'm going to use this. Class with the help of this pattern. OK, Pankaj, I feel you can uh, use. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, you can yes. uh, use the control space there itself. Yeah, and there the itself the... you can use. Yeah, uh, yeah you're so right. So it's an easy yeah. way. And after that, the enter and the shift, then the whole uh, uh, syntax will come for that particular method. Correct, correct. You are right. By that way, also we can do. Hmm. And uh, this is your, sorry, I'm just using the message over here. Ab -ab object uh, ab -ab patterns. Hmm. Yeah, click on this enter button. And here, we have to give the class name CL underscore uh, demo output. And just select this one. The method we have to use, we can click the method over here and we can select the method from here display output. Click on this OK button, it will come. So we can give some header over here like suppose uh, it's a third variant we can give the third variant and okay and then the value we can pass this internal table value okay this it underscore table so by this way we can avoid writing loop at it underscore table internal table or you know that uh, alv grid the different technique is not required over here. Simply we can use this uh, class and this uh, static method. OK, CL demo output and the static method display underscore data. Since the static method is there, that's why I have used this uh, equal to sign and arrow symbol. 
fine so check the syntax this is fine activate it activate it and let's uh, run it we can see the output has come in this way okay fine hope you understood it let's go back and i will just show you how uh, j is telling that is also one uh, very handy way very good way cl underscore demo even if you want you can just press here control space i think uh, class i don't know it's not coming right now demo underscore output and here just uh, you give this and then control space all the method will come over here you can see that i have to use the display data i'm just selecting this one shift enter it will take all this uh, means all the format it will take uh, at this time itself okay fine so this way also we can do okay uh, already i have written this one let's remove this and enable this one now we will see the fourth variant what is the fourth variant okay the third variant we have seen like at runtime itself we can give these things fourth variant let us see what we can do in fourth variant we will see we can give the multiple vein multiple vein we can give in a fourth variant how we can give multiple way uh, when it's uh, same only just i'm going to copy it okay i'm going to comment this one okay and here uh this vein and then again you can write something like you know uh vein n t g e w is less than uh so here i have given less than 50 uh let's give something like you know uh less than zero then this one uh though practically it is not possible less than zero let's give less than two over here so and less than something like here we can give uh first give greater than greater than or equal to greater than or equal to two and you have you can use and statement also over here and n t g e w uh, less than you know you can write something like uh, 50 and then you can give over here then uh, medium weight something like that medium weight okay again you can give multiple when you can give multiple when so n t g e w is greater than you know uh 50 then you can give uh, overweight something like that w e i g h t okay or if uh, it's uh, greater than means greater than 50 then it's overweight uh, and just now it's not required else also you can add over here there is not an issue you can add so greater than 50 and less than let's add something less than ntg ew less than something let's take thousand okay then we can give over it else highly overweight we can give something like that highly overweight just save it check the syntax which you printer check the syntax activate it activate it okay run this we can see the underweight whichever is less than two it's coming as a underweight whichever is coming between 50 and you know thousand whatever we have given the condition satisfying that overweight it's coming again underweight 150 is coming overweight one five three five is coming overweight and let us see if there is any highly overweight or not there is nothing there is no value exceeded a uh, thousand so uh, it's not coming any highly overweight let's go back we will see we have seen the fourth variant 
we can see some fifth variant. Okay. Uh, Pankaj, uh, uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, please tell me. So right now you, uh, yeah, right now you are telling about uh, this open uh, SQL. Okay. So last time, like you told, uh, native SQL. So net, what I understand basically, native SQL that we run on uh, Hana Studio. Okay. Right. Right. Yes. And here we run uh, open SQL. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, before, uh, like uh, Hana as above on Hana or above. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is basically the SQL uh, scripting, so that we can do only uh, in uh, ABAP or HANA. Okay. So which is the version basically SAP seven point or something you are telling? So what is the, the if you can uh, uh, retain some details uh, over the PPT so that we can understand where we run all those statements? Okay. Okay. Well, I understood. Yeah, you are right. Uh, I will just give that description and I will try to make you understand like what actually I'm trying to uh, mm -hmm. say. Yeah, what actually I'm trying to do over here. Okay. 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 Fine. So let's go to PPT. This is your PPT. See what actually uh, let's go to. See you know that you know you know that see this is our application server right this is our application server and we are having the database server uh, this is our database so this is our application server this is our database database this can be HANA, you know, this can be uh, MaxDB, any database it, it can be. So database, whatever database it is there, it only understands the native SQL. Its own language, it understands native SQL. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when we write our code in SC38 editor, that editor is nothing but it is at, you know, application server layer that code runs at application server layer. OK. So you are having two types of SQL. OK, you are having two types of SQL. In fact, one is known as open SQL and another is known as native SQL. OK, there are two types of SQL you are having. First two types of SQL you are having. One is open SQL and another is native SQL. OK, so the open SQL means. This whatever database is there, HANA, MAX, Oracle, you don't have to bother. In application server itself, there is a layer. OK, there is a layer. There is a component. Uh, this component, you know, this component is called. This component is called. Uh, database abstraction interface. Whenever we write any query in open SQL, whenever we write any query in open SQL, OK. You write any query in open SQL. What it does this database abstraction interface. This Actually, this application server and database connection, these all are connected with a you know network. They all are connected with a network. So what the database abstraction interface does that it takes the open SQL and it identifies what kind of database is connected with this application server and this database abstraction interface converts this open SQL into the database native SQL. If it is MaxDB, then the native SQL will be of MaxDB native SQL. If it is HANA DB, then this native SQL will be of HANA DB native SQL. So whatever underlying database is there, as per their native SQL, this database abstraction interface converts this open SQL. 
so whatever we are discussing over here this is this all is you know open sql this all is open sql but if you write any query inside exec okay sql and oh. in exec sql this will be a database specific query this will be a database specific query yeah please tell me what you okay. are asking yeah so in native sql we are not going to uh, create any uh, uh, program or we are not any scripting we are not uh, remember this native uh, sql syntax it is automatically like whatever we uh, create in open sql it is automatically create and depend upon the database yeah so automatically SQL, it will be converted into native sql So we are not going to uh, remember all syntax in native SQL syntax. No, no, we are not going to remember anything for native SQL. And what about this uh, Hana Hana Studio? Suppose if we run some no, no, wait, scripting wait. on uh, Hana one Studio. Second. One second. Okay. One second. See this Open SQL we have used, right? And it has it it has been converted into native SQL. Okay. Hmm. Now directly we can write native SQL also. Whatever the database is there, whether you are having Sybase, Hana DB, whatever the database, the same native SQL you can write at application server also. In that case, database abstraction interface will not take any action. If you write the native SQL under some certain syntax like this syntax, exec SQL and ended and exec SQL. If you write inside this some code, if you are just writing some code, the database abstraction interface will not do anything with this code. It will directly pass this code to database layer. OK, it will directly pass this code to database layer. So directly you can use the native SQL also at a app layer. You are getting my point. If you are writing. Okay, some yeah. Code. yeah, so here also you can use the native SQL. But in idle scenario, we are using. Yeah, uh, there is no use of native SQL because we are. Uh, is, that's why I'm telling. We, it's uh -huh. always recommended to use open SQL. On that day, why I was teaching this native SQL because you you have to understand. You know, when we will go to uh, AMDP procedure, uh, all these things. At that time, we must have to know about the native SQL. Then only we will be able to. You know, because AMDP procedure and all it the all the code will be written at the database layer, right? Uh -huh. A stored procedure where a stored procedure is written. A stored procedure is written at the database layer. Database, database. Yeah. yeah. So for writing the code at the database layer, we should know the native language, right? Uh -huh. That's okay. why I was teaching on that day, and also I was trying to. Uh, actually, on that day, uh, Hana Studio, my uh, the SQL console was not working. That's why it's the same thing. Whatever I have written in the SQL console, the same thing you can write over here. It will directly execute over there and it will give us the output. The same thing I was trying to do from here. OK, nothing else. OK, OK. So what yeah. is the like uh, the my understanding basically uh, from the database level uh, we are using native SQL suppose if we want to create a stored procedures or some triggers or something we, so uh, we use the native SQL but in ABAP side uh, we are using uh, open SQL okay. mm, that is recommended open SQL is always recommended okay and yeah. which uh, is the uh, SAP version where we are using this? Uh, 7.40 onwards. All the 7. open SQL is all the new open SQL. See, open uh -huh. SQL is since beginning of the SAP evolution. OK, but all the new open SQL, it is like this one, vein, else. Earlier it was not supported, this vein, this comma. OK, at the inline declaration, at the rate of data, it underscore table. You won't be able to use before 7.40. OK, means uh, three years back, you were not able to use, do all these things three to four years back. OK, so there is no need to create an internal table work area. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. Point. at runtime, oh, no. at runtime itself, everything will get created. But you should know sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you require to create 
okay sometimes it required to create internal table work area this is this is this becomes means this made made above very handy to use but earlier concept sometimes also that also requires some scenario you will feel okay. that it yeah. requires okay 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 yeah. fine save it check it activate it it got activated fine so multiple when condition we have seen like we can give also the multiple when condition fine let us see some more variant third we have seen uh, and this is the fourth one fourth variant and fifth variant let us see i'm just copying this one okay so in fourth variant what we can do we can uh, we will see some aggregate function how we can use the aggregate function over here okay suppose if i want to you know i want to find out how many distinct uh, m tart is there okay how many distinct m tart is there so for that you know for that we have to use you know count statement and uh, mm, okay m tart let's remove in this okay later i will remove fine m tart i want to see how many m tart is there how many material type is there you have to give something like distinct i want to search about distinct m tart okay then mbrsh okay and here from mara so whenever the uh, thumb rule you have to remember like uh, whenever we are going to use any aggregate function this is known as aggregate function sum average count this all known as the aggregate function so whenever we are going to use the aggregate function then none key column should be under you know group by clause should should be under group by clause so we have to write here you know group by and uh, let's remove all these things we will write from beginning okay so select suppose uh, matner we are going to select so matner uh, we can write and um, the other thing what we can write like uh, the different material type different material type so we can write the different material type count distinct and this m tart okay you can give right so select matner and then of course you have to give the comma after this comma we have to give this count where we want to display so as we can display something like uh, distinct you know distinct uh, material type mat type okay comma and then uh, since this is a key column just i think here material type this is fine let us check okay so two fields i have selected material number and material type let's select one more field matkl material group matkl from mara into at the rate of into table at the rate of data at underscore table i want to do this one 
some error is coming over here let's see why this error yeah it is fine now check the syntax select matnet is telling list is missing okay so you can see here it's telling the field matnet from select list is missing in the group by clause okay okay so actually whenever we are using some aggregate function okay so here you can see i have used this this is the aggregate function count which is the field this is the m tart is the field so when i'm using the m tart in aggregate function other field which is in our select query that must be here under group by clause group by clause so non aggregate key which is this one non aggregate column what is non aggregate column this is matner we are supposed to give over here check the syntax now let us see the field mtkl okay the two fields actually uh, with three fields we are taking matner this one and this one okay mtkl so this one also you have to give mtkl check the syntax <coughs> comma we have to give over here check now it's fine activate it activate it now just uh, let's run it okay we can see that distinct material type it's coming you know it will come always one why the reason behind because material number is also coming okay and material number is always unique that's why this one 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 is coming so to see the actual use of this uh, distinct material type we have to select only uh, you know uh, material uh, we have to select only uh, mtkl we have to select only mtkl so let's uh, go back and here instead of uh, you know matner let's remove this matner okay and let's see if we can give the m tart yeah i think we can give over here mtkl so m tart that is fine and mtkl a matner remove it okay mtkl check the syntax okay let's give the m tart also m tart comma check the syntax activate it run it and here distinct material type m tart m tart 11 it's coming because m tart also uh, i have given we can remove the m tart okay just remove the m tart from here also we have to remove now the actual use of you know this distinct m tart we can see over here see for this uh, uh means for this 900 material group you know for this 900 material group we are having six different material type okay for this 900 material group we are having six different material type of material for this material group we are having two distinct you know two distinct type of material type similarly like this so by this way what we can do we can find the distinct material type okay we can find the distinct material type by this way we can find it out okay any question varun jay no problem no pankaj from my side so by this way we can use the distinct uh, clause and other other variant let's uh, see about the other variant so all these things that we know that before 7.40 uh, before 7.40 only we were able to use it uh, uh, not use it means we were not able to use it before 7.40 after 7.40 only we were able to uh, we are able to use it save it <coughs> activate it 
so this is the fifth variant fine i'm just going to comment this one and we will see some more variant let's see the sixth variant in sixth variant what we can do uh, some new function we will see okay so there is a very popular function that is you know colleague function there is a popular function this name is colleague c o a l e s c e colleague function the meaning of this colleague function means taking the things together okay considering the things together so how we can use this colleague function okay so the to use the colleague function let's uh, uh, everything we have taken okay everything we have taken only you know uh, for single uh, single material means uh, for single uh, table at this time we can you know uh, take some two table okay so let's take some two table select uh, we can take select and the here uh, let's have some different table let's take lf a one this is our table for vendor master so from vendor i'm just going to select the lifner this is the vendor number and then the different value also we can select lf uh, lfa1 uh, <coughs> lfa1 till sign and the different field like e b e l n e b e l n this is the <coughs> uh, i think it's a material document i believe or purchasing document i think it's a purchasing document so vendor purchasing document it's uh, there and then you know we can give some another field like uh, let's take some other table e k k o okay and from ekko we can consider the bookers the company code and here we can use a colleague function so we will see how we can use the colleague function okay so colleague is coming over here start start the uh, open bracket in open bracket we can give that ekko okay ekko tilt sign Till sign Lifner, and I will just make you understand what actually I'm trying to do over here. No PO, okay. Put in, uh, close the bracket, okay. So, what actually it will do when I'm using the colleague function, okay? This value will be populated in, uh, you know, uh, in. Uh, uh, some field let's make this field as a vendor field i want to actually see whether this vendor is having the po or not okay so that i want to see uh, from okay lf a1 left outer join we uh, can use over here the left outer join left outer join so lfa1 i'm taking as a left tip, left table and i can take ekko ekko this table i can take as a right table and the condition we can make as you know lfa1 uh, and the condition we can give based upon company code we can give the condition okay uh, no sorry not company code we have to give the lifner lifner will be uh, common between this lfa1 and echo so this lifner we can give equal uh, ekko and again we can write the lifner okay and into uh, table and at the right runtime itself we can directly declare our internal table it underscore table that's it so here actually what i'm trying to do from two tables i'm selecting the value this is our left outer join we all know the concept of left outer join 
so what will happen over here in lfa1 and in ekko table it's getting the data from lfa lfa1 and ekko table okay so if the vendor is found if vendor is found from ekko table if a vendor is found from ekko table it will display under vendor okay it will display under vendor otherwise if vendor is not found okay then under vendor column it will tell that since there is no po so no vendor okay since there is no po that's why no vendor so this will be we can use in the uh, this way it might be little confusing now once i will run this one it will be you know what it's telling lfa1 lfa1 eb eln okay what's problem a known column eb eln relative you can specify a field list let's check in this lfa1 go to sc11 <clears throat> lfa1 press f7 this is the vendor master table lifner is there there is a field called ebeln okay there is no field actually called ebeln okay let's go to ekko and search for yeah here it's ebeln and vendor is also here lifner yes lifner and vendor is there fine <coughs> so actually we are supposed to give you here ekko okay ekko eb eln uh, ekko lifner this is fine check the syntax now this is fine pretty pretty, pretty. check the syntax activate it activate it now uh let's put the breakpoint over here run it press effect let's see the data it underscore table so we can see for this vendor there is no po uh you can see there is no po there is no po so it's just coming no po and wherever it will be having see when it is having the po number under vendor section it is just showing that this vendor is having this po this vendor is having this po okay so if this vendor is not having uh, any po this vendor is not having any po it is telling that no po you can see there is no po ebln this is no po that's why it is coming no po if po is there you know if po is there this ebln is there the same uh, it should support Uh, it should uh, uh, actually uh, no po no po if vendor is there it's uh, just displaying the vendor number and this vendor number number is having you know this vendor number this is the vendor number this vendor number is having this po okay this po this po i hope you understood right you have any doubt over here varun or jaya or rahul i think एक्सेल i think it's here yeah here we have created one 
data and with the help of this we can see so for example suppose we are having this employee table okay let's mark in a yellow this is our employee table and this is the employee country table okay this is the employee country table let's mark it in a green so when we are going to use the inner join over here on employee table and employee country table okay based upon employee id then what will happen this four five and four five is same so only entry for four five will be displayed it's a kind of intersection only the common value will be displayed in case of <coughs> In case of inner join on employee ID, whatever the common value will be there, it will be displayed based on that. So you can see over here, the four uh, four five is common over here. So four five it has displayed under employee ID, okay, from this and the first name and last name also it's uh, coming, okay, and the language. Uh, sorry country should come from here country and language is coming from here so just i'm marking it in a green so whatever common is there it's coming under inner join the full outer join let's see first the left outer join left outer join is nothing but this if we're going to put the left outer join on this employee table and this employee country so here order is important Okay, here order is appointed. First table, if we are considering as employee table, and second table, if we are considering as an employee country, in that case, you know, the first table in case of left outer join, the left table will be given the priority. Priority means all the record will be displayed first of the employee table. So suppose if you were writing the select query like. In select query, we are writing employee ID, first name, country, and language. Uh, in select query, we are giving employee ID, first name, country, and language. So what will happen? All the employee ID and first name since exist in this table, it will come and sit over here. Okay, it will come and sit over here. You can see. Okay, and so the first table has been given priority, and the matching value. Okay, the matching value, the country and language. What are the matching values there? This four and five is matching value over there. So only this India uh, and these things actually it should be supposed to be here at this place. Okay, only four and five. This RC Soha and you. Uh, For RC so four and five it's matching with this two value. So for four and five, this no, it was correct. India, Nepal, and in the English is there. So just it will be it will come over here and sit. RC so India, Hindi, Nepal, English. For this fourth and fifth, whatever the country and language is there, it will come and sit. In the right outer join, the right table will be given the preference. Employee entry will uh, country will be given the preference. So all four, five, six, seven, eight, all the value will come from here and sit over here. Okay, the you know uh, the country India, Nepal, China, USA, UK, it will come and sit. The language it will come and sit over here. Okay, so you can see over here. You can see over here. And the name, first name, it is supposed to come from this employee table. So fourth and fifth, whatever the matching employee ID is there, from that it will take the name. So RC and SOHA will come from here. Okay. So this is, you know, a right outer join. <clears throat> Left outer join and right outer join. Left outer join is nothing but the opposite of right outer join and right outer join is nothing but the opposite of left outer join it's both are vice versa okay Uncle, if in you are not mentioning anything in the query like so or it will go as a full outer join if you just give the outer join see earlier before 7.40 the left outer join only was supported 
okay? okay inner join and left outer join but after 7.40 full outer join and right outer join also was supported okay after 7.40 full outer join and uh, you know right outer join both is supported so if you simply give the outer join that the meaning of that is you know you can see over here that if you i think you have to give full outer join let's uh, check outer join right outer join is there left outer join is there full outer join option is not coming so right outer join is supported left outer join is supported and if you don't give anything i think it is not supported okay so left <coughs> we can see we have to mention something like right or left then only it work correct yeah i think uh, either you have to specify left outer join or uh, left outer join or right outer join or in case of full outer join is also the concept is there but i don't know here here it's uh, i'm not able to see something like full i have not used this one okay so i need to check that when you can also check from your side if full outer join is supported or not but left and right we can see that it is being supported over here in our scenario left will work in this scenario for this particular example left i have taken because here it is important okay fine so till here you understood right jay right varun hello yeah prakash okay okay then uh, let's quickly see some one more variant just go ahead and the seventh variant Uh, we can see seventh variant, and here we can see you know at uh, means uh, in select query itself we can you know we can uh, concatenate the field uh, value. We can concatenate the field value. For example, I will just tell you. Suppose select we are going to write and Lifner. Lifner means our vendor number. Vendor number I want to concatenate with, uh, uh, you know, some name one. Name one field is also there in uh, uh, in LFA one table. Okay, in vendor master table, this name one field and this vendor number both is there. I want to concatenate both and display it. or suppose. what we can do simply matner we can give and uh, because we all know very well about matner so it will not make us and mktx material and material description if you want to you know just display then this is the syntax the syntax you have to remember it this is a select matner and this one and after that we have to give as material we have we can write mat, mat with mat with mat description mat description okay so matner and material description i am selecting give the comma over here and after this comma we can select some more field for example m actually my keyboard is uh, having some malware or something like that or some it is not working that much properly okay so i'm tried and as we can give you know material type mat type let's take this much only from amara into and add the rate Amara into table 
at the rate data and it underscore table. Okay. So by this way we can give it's showing some error. Let's see what's error uh, it's giving. We have to correct this error. Let's give some space maybe. The matner select this is fine comma this is fine as we have given correctly some problem is there I don't know what is the problem M dot check the syntax. The elements in the select list must be separated using commas. We have used the commas, right? M dot is a mat type from Mara into table, it underscore table. It underscore table, it's defined over here. the syntax now select list must be separated using comma <coughs> let's do a phone and check how we can do uh, select is there mandatory all these things I don't know whether it's a concatenation here source condition Okay, sub list equal to this one. One second, let me Google it.
let us see with concat the sample signed uh, i have seen that uh, the sample said send uh, send uh, means i have used this one and this sample sign i don't know why it's not working here let's check once with and this one or is it It's not concat. This is not working. I will check it offline. OK, leave it. So with this, let's uh, stop our class. Uh, still some two or three or maximum, I think uh, five is still left. We will see one by one uh, in next class on this coming Saturday. OK, and we will complete our open SQL. Then we will go for, you know, this uh, <clears throat> analytic view, calculation view, all these things. So information model we can learn this is also a push down technique i missed to write <coughs> okay pankaj yeah so this is actually also after opening oh pankaj one thing actually i was checking in the google that telling mm -hmm. you concatenate Possible in the where clause, not in the select clause. No, but in select clause also we can use uh, we this can ampersand. Use. Yeah, yeah, we can use. I will check it once more. Uh, oh. Yeah, and I will in select clause also we can use this one. Okay. I will check and in next class we will discuss this one. Okay. Okay. Just I will note it down. This is the pending one. So information model actually information model we will discuss. This is uh, I have uh, written it at second place. It does not mean that you know this is just I'm going to write it as a this is actually HANA topic. This is HANA topic and information model with the help of information model also you know uh, we can means we can do our code push down at database level we can also with the help of information model also we can do our code push down so what we can do at hana database layer we can create the information model and whatever we will create the model everything will be generated as a uh, you know uh, at se level level dtl level everything gets generated and there we can use as a select query so generally this will be used as a you know bi or bw developer okay as a abapper, this is less preferred. So what we can do, we will as a abapper, it's less preferred for abapper. For BI or BW people, it's a more pro preferred. So we will just see this information model under this uh, in next coming classes. Okay, attribute view, analytic view, calculation view. We will just see it and complete it because uh, at least we should learn about model. So though we are not going to use this one in our real time, but still just we will see in one or two class and we will complete this topic information model. And then again, we will come like, you know, uh, either we can choose AMDP or CDS and then we will go for ADBC. So in this sequence, let us complete. So actually, I was first supposed to complete this information model. OK, but my server was not working on that day. So I started working on this open SQL. Uh, so we started working on this open SQL. Fine. Bye bye.